Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing here on the Direwolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I am doing well, and I am excited about today. Hey, last time we said we were going to do the end dragon fight. Yep, that's what I promised you. I'm sorry for missing yesterday, by the way. But yeah, I promised you an end dragon fight. But we're not going to do the end dragon fight. No, we've got some other stuff to do. I realized after watching Original Junior's latest video, link on screen right about now, that um, we might have a little bit more work to do. Yeah, uh, you see all this armor? It's not enchanted, okay? It's still pretty good, but it's not enchanted. We had a little run-in that I'm going to chat with you about as we progress through this episode. And... And, and there's some other stuff here in the Redstone Arsenal mod. So we are going to play around with that. Like this sword, neat, neat flux infused sword. What in the world? I've got some weird noise happening on my phone. Okay, let, or not phone, my computer. It's a, it's a Google voice number. We will let that go to voicemail. Anyway, sorry about that. We also want this flux infused bow. And that means we've got a lot of crafting ahead of us. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, let's turn around here real quick. And uh, there's something immediately obvious right here. You see that right there? It says death info. Let's take a look. Sure enough, ladies and gentlemen, sure enough, I died again. I know, it's very sad. It was in dimension 111, which is not the current dimension. It was in the... Uh, Lost Cities Dimension, and I was doing something that I want to do from time to time. I I occasionally go on bee gathering missions, and well, I was not paying attention to my health, and I was not paying attention to my food, and sure enough, the bees got me, and I was not using the smoker. I figured, you know what, I can handle this. I've got some really cool armor on, and, and that's why we're going to be taking care of some armor today but that means we need to go over here this is the second death on the server uh we'll put it right here do you need oh no no it went in the digging backpack yes there it goes okay so there we go we will put the dirt back on here and then we'll take this gravestone set it like that so second death on the server and also the second one due to bees yep Yep, that's just the name of the game. Anyway, and anyhow, we've got a little bit of progress to show you as well. So, you know, we had that rollback, right? And uh, there's there's a book that I've been reading to my kids, or a series of books, actually. It's the Little House series by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And one of the quotes that's in there pretty commonly is, there's no great loss without some small gain. And sure enough, this particular rollback provided a little bit of a gain in that our villager, the Apiers villager, reset the trades. It went back to before I had done any trading with it. And that means that I got the monastic bee for a much cheaper price. Instead of 55 emeralds, it's 33. So we were able to get uh, back here, here, here. Yes, yes. So I got a couple drones out of it fairly cheaply. And then I was able to pull the monastic species off of that. And that means that we've now got uh, destabilized, secluded, and hermetic. So we've got one line of that quantum B, if you remember, quantum, right? We're working towards that. We've got to rework towards it because of losing all of the B stuff. But here on the spectral, we need the hermetic plus ender. And over on spatial, we need hermetic plus abnormal. So we needed that monastic line to get the hermetic. And so hey, we're, we're halfway there. So we've got, I th yeah, we've got hermetic now. And you can see we've got another one here, fluxed. And then also withering okay so let me just show you this real quick instead of having to go through all of that rigmarole with creating the flux infused electrum i've got a bee that is producing it for me right uh, not there here yes flux to queen and we've got plenty right here we're going to go put this into our our um our compacting drawer over here and see what we have over here. Now I do need to go get some of the destabilized redstone, but there we go. We've got 62 ingots, not too shabby. 
And then how much of this redstone? We don't have much in there, so maybe we'll get some of that smelting down here soon. Uh, do I have any? I think I used up all of it. And Skype is going, going nuts there as well. How about this? Destabilize redstone ore. So we will get this stuff going forthwith, okay? Because we do need some of this in uh, for some diamonds that we've got to put together. And it is bedtime already. So let's do this. Oh, you know what? We don't have... We'll see if the other guys on the server will... Um, okay. So three, okay, so somebody is in another dimension. Probably Wild Trekker. Okay, so that's cool. So we've got, what, 62 of these. And we need a bucket and some diamonds. So... Uh, actually, we need a few buckets. And how about we just fill up this tank and take it over there with us? How much is in there? Okay. So the next order of business, while we're waiting to build that, I don't think we can do our, our full setup here. We need, if we take a look at that, we need two ingots plus this flux infused obsidian rod, which requires two flux crystals and an obsidian rod which means we need some oh don't tell me i'm gonna be running low on blaze rods oh boy let's put some of these into our pulverizer right here like so we'll need a couple of those oh we get some sulfur out of it too so five not too shabby and we will probably need some uh some of the those same rods for this so one there and then there's also this quiver thing that i saw flux infused quiver oh boy yep arrow okay well we've got a few of those and i think we can do we can do our our redstone now so uh, let's grab is this thing done yes let's grab our tank Okay, and we'll come back over here and put the tank on the ground and we'll get out a bucket or two. Okay, we've got two. Okay, and we'll put those in there. And let's see, we need some of those diamonds. Why does it not store what I last had in there? Let's make that and we'll do another one, please. Please, thank you. Okay, and let's do this, and I think we need one more set. All right, so uh, the next order of business is part of the whole idea of enchanting, and we need to get to some of that. Let's do flux infused, and we'll make, we'll see if we can make this sword real quick. We can do this. Uh, no, no, not quite. We'll make this how many oh we need some obsidian oh it's one i did not realize this if i had known this ladies and gentlemen i would have been a little more prepared so let's go put this into our pulverizer uh not that many how many how many you get what four per obsidian block yes okay good so we only need two of these i think and we should be good to go there and there. All right. Well, how many is that? Let's see. Flux infused. Can we make this? No. Now we should be able to. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. There we go. And boom. All right. Now we can make the flux infused bow. Awesome. We can get that charging up while we're at it so uh no go there thank you and then we'll make that sword as well why do you not store is there something over here keep let's do that and it may that may annoy me later but but we should be fine and then we can grab that Three hundred twenty thousand. okay that's cool we'll put this guy in here and three hundred twenty thousand. 
so no problem and barely a blip on the radar and then over here let's take a look at this quiver can we make that yes we can excellent so uh let's do that how many is that Three hundred twenty thousand. blipping a little bit what oh because of the server backup okay just making sure we weren't returning to the problems that we were having last week and so now the next thing we want to do and um, sometimes I talk with my hands so if you hear me clapping or moving my arms about it's because I'm talking with my hands you might wonder why are you talking with your hands well that's just kind of what I do so let's go over here we need to get the arcane in sorcerator I think that's yes we want this one and what do we got to do for that we need an enchantment table excellent and do we get oh we don't get the achievement for that oh well that's a shame i feel kind of gypped let's see okay so while trekker's going for a little bit he should be back soon constantin do we have yes we do oh my so for all my unpreparedness else elsewheres in the episode uh we're, we're not doing too bad. I at least have some Constantin going. And now we can make this thing. All right. And then... So so the point of the Arcane Ensorcelator, I believe, is to make enchantments. So let's take a look at this. Arcana slot. I believe that's the one. Yes. And so we need... We need something called Insightful Essence. Oh, we're running out of juice. Oh, no, it's got juice. Okay. And let's see what we can do here. Can we, can we throw that in here? No, maybe it's a book. Huh? So I may have to figure out how this thing works. Let's see. Let's, let's grab book. Okay. Let's do that and then come over here. Can we put a book in? Yes, we can. Book. Um, well, you know what? I think I may need to figure this out. Uh, let me go do a little bit of reading. I know we've, well, how about, how about this? Let's not do the reading quite yet. We need a Tome of Knowledge and then some of this stuff. Let's see. I think we can make that. Yes. Stores experience within its pages. Used to store knowledge in the Tome. Used while sneaking. Um, okay, we can store experience in there. Okay. How full is that? Uh, not much. So I want to grab all of that experience back out, okay? And then we'll put this thing back into our system here. Uh, let's see, device frame. It's a little bit different. So this is thermal expansion, but it's kind of strange. It's not, not quite what we're used to. It's a device frame. Oh, I see, instead of a machine frame. Interesting. And then we'll get this redstone servo. And we should be able to make that. Nope. Tome, it doesn't pick up items with NBT data so well. And this does not need, does not need power to my knowledge. Nope. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This thing, I know it sucks up experience that's on the ground, but I don't know how to get experience. I know we've got some right here. Okay, how do I... Can we put that in here? No. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to have a think about this to figure out how I can get this experience right here into some form of liquid. I think that's what we're requiring here. And I need to do some more reading about this. So I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Hopefully I've got this down so far. I need to make another one of these tomes of knowledge. Okay. And we're going to see how this works. I also need to make a another portable tank. So let's do that. 
Uh, we're going to make this one. We need a redstone servo. And then we'll do this again. All right. So we've got that guy. Now, uh, another thing of note that I, I forgot to tell you. We've got the withering queen. And what that does is uh, it makes these wither skeleton bone chips. Let's clear this out. And I'm going to show you this thing. You take nine of these and you get a wither skeleton skull fragment. If you get six of these wither skeleton skull fragments, we're going to do that. Okay. And put them in a recipe like so. You get a wither skeleton skull, which means that now we are growing wither skeleton skulls. I don't have to go around any more nether fortresses to get wither skeleton skulls. We're good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I've taken care of that bee breeding off camera. So uh, next order of business. Let's see. We need to take... Um, we'll go... That's a fluid transposer. I didn't want to put all of that redstone into the fluid transposer. I wanted to grab it in here. So let's do word fill mode. Okay, that's going to fill that whole thing up. Good. And then let's see if we can get a tank of some experience. I've got that in my system. So let's do this. Um, right click. Yeah. So we're going to right click on this Tome of Knowledge. And that stores my experience in into here. And if we... Oh! Right click. Oh, man. Okay, is there any... There's none left in here. Excellent. Excellent. So, uh, and that puts it all back in here. Excellent. Okay, so we can right click here. Put the portable tank in. We're going to fill that portable tank up. And then we can put... We can put our portable tank over on top of our arcane insorcelator and see if we can grab from the top. No. Hmm. Well, that's that's not cool. What if we did? Well, let's grab let's grab this guy back and maybe. Maybe, just maybe, we will do that. Okay. And then get it all back out of there. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. So I didn't need the fluid transposer at all. I didn't even need the insightful condenser. We can add this to a mob farm, though. And that will gather up all of the experience orbs, which is pretty good. Good to know for server maintenance purposes. So what I want to do is put a book in there and then on say um the, the way this works is you put a book in there you've got some experience in there as well like we've got right there and then you put a book and then there's some other recipe it's almost like the ender io purchasing of enchantments on 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 that i can't remember what the name of that is but there's a cost of this essence and then there's also a cost of some items so on our our flux infused armor. We want a variety of enchants. I'd like to get some protection stuff going. So uh, we need some of that. I also want to get holding. So let's try that real quick. So I want to get holding on. We need to get holding four. So we need a bunch of chests. And this is where the whole JEI synchronized with keep is going to cause me not cheap chest okay so let's do that okay and we will put the chest into here and is it gonna go it is going so it's a little bit slow so maybe what we need to do is add some augments to it and we get holding one excellent so we're gonna do that and uh, maybe we'll take care of some of these uh, enchant or upgrades as well at thermal upgrade i want hardened upgrade need oh we don't have any of that stuff upgrade at thermal this one what don't we have invar we don't have invar huh that seems kind of odd 
No Invar. Well, well, let me surprised. Invar, nothing. We got an Invar B. That'd be nice to make. How about this? Okay, so we've got to make it's two iron and nickel. So I'll get that going. And it looks like we've got a little bit of work ahead of us. I want to get holding four on all of these items. I also want infinity on this bow and maybe some various protection stuff. We don't quite need feather falling on the boots, but maybe some of the aqua affinity and respiration, maybe that on the helmet. Uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But um, yeah, I've got, I've got a decent amount of work ahead of me. So let me take care of that off camera and I will be right back with you. All right, I just realized that uh, my mic was not on for something. Oh, well. Oh, well. So let's come over here and I've set up an actual or a full on standard enchanting setup right here. Okay. And then let's check light levels. Okay. F4, F4, everything's good. Good. Let's turn off F4 and let's just throw this in here and see what we get. Blast protection four. That's not too shabby. How about this one? Protection three. Okay. We don't have the levels for it. Fire protection three. Oh, I don't know. See, the reason I want to take a look at this is because it's going to take a while to get all of this, these enchanted books. We've got to do holding one on all of them. Is there any, I don't know if there's, there's holding four. We're getting it. Okay. Let's go. See if maybe we can get 30 levels out of this. Yeah, we should be able to get 30 levels back from here. Is there any more left? No, no, we got, took out all of it. And let's see, how about another, another stack of that? Uh-oh, server's having some issues. Hmm, I wonder if the TPS are having a problem. Okay, we're at 30 now. Okay. Yeah, I think we're having some issues here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, TPS is down. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. 20 TPS, that's in the storage cell. 5.09 TPS, not good. Not good at all. Okay, huh, well, I don't know what's going on there. But what we need to do is grab some lapis. Okay, we'll come over here. Huh, that's really strange. It's been fine since we rolled back to, there we go, since we rolled back to 1.7. Okay, so we got holding four. Okay, so that's going to require... Oh, I see. This is charging it. Charging held items. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. 800 RF per use. Okay. And then we'll need to make sure we've got our key bound for when we use this thing. So, I'm not quite sure what the flux infused quiver does. But we've got, still got some more enchanting to do. Let's take a look at what, uh, if we get holding four on any of these, okay, then that means we need to, uh, we need to jump on it, okay? So I need to go get some more experience right here. We're going to use these guys, okay? Yeah, server's having some issues. I don't know what that's about. Any more, any more experience? Okay, so you can see kind of the road I have ahead of me, and that's going to take some time off camera. I don't want to, uh, you know, put you through that necessarily. So let's, oh, let's see. Bane of Arthropods 4, Insight 3, Holding 4, Sweeping Edge, Looting 3. That's not, not shabby. Okay, so let's do that. We'll get that thing uh, empowered. All right, yeah, charged up. This one's not quite charged up and Dadcraft is wanting to sleep the night away. So let's do that. And there we go. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to go off camera and take care of the rest of this enchanting so that you, uh, you can actually see all of this stuff once we're done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our TPS issues have resolved. So let's go here. Yeah, we're, we're back up at 20 TPS. The mean tick time is a little high still. Okay, maybe it was just a fluke. Anyway, let's take a look. I'm going to go back home and show you what I've set up anyway, or in just a little bit. But what I wanted to do is bring you in here and show you all of my setup here. We've got Aqua Affinity Fire Protection holding four Respiration 3, so I can breathe underwater and still work. Okay, that's cool. Holding four, Protection 4, Fire Protection 4, Holding 4, Holding 4, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4. Okay, so not too shabby. Here on the sword, let's let's change that out, and we'll change this out as well. Okay, here on the sword, we've got uh, Insight 3, which gives us should give us a little more XP from this. Bane of Arthropods, and since we've got a spider here let's see what this does one shot excellent how about this cow sideways walking guy okay not too shabby yeah one shotting spiders this is good boom okay now how about this flux infused bow we got holding four power four okay not not the best but boom okay so we kind of explode them and that hurts us too so good to know Okay, that's a pretty big, pretty big spray, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, boom. That hurts. Oh boy, does that hurt. Let's uh, let's eat so we don't don't cause ourselves a problem. Excellent. Oh, and I've unchunk loaded everything, so I can't fly. Okay, well, let's go back home, and I will show you what I've put together, and I'll meet you over there. All right, here we are back at the ranch, and I can fly again because I'm back in loaded chunks. Um, did I ever show you that? I moved my, I moved my GP production down into the cavern down there, but over here. So, uh, I I was getting tired of making those books for a uh, holding four enchant. I was gonna have to get eight holding one books and then go th anyways. I I didn't want to do it, and I didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to get the right enchants out of that thing either. So I looked around for some other options and I built this enchantment factory. And can I get, I don't know if I can get the recipe. May, yeah, I can get the recipe up. So let's do this enchantment factory. Good. So we've got this pretty simple. It's the same as a table, the enchantment table, but with a little bit of industrial foregoing magic here in the recipe. And that makes sense. Okay. So that lets you put in mob essence and get out an enchantment or enchant something. And this enchantment extractor, I made this one as well because I got a couple of enchants I didn't want. And so you just build this thing. You put the item you don't want to, or you, you want to get rid of the enchants on. You know what? How about a little bit of a demonstration, okay? Let's do this. And now you know what? We'll get more books. And then we'll get bronze boots. How about that? Can we enchant bronze boots? We'll find out forthwith. Okay, we don't have any more mob essence. We've got some over here. So let's do this. Hopefully I don't meet with any slimes, okay? We should be able to grab that, okay? And then we will go back upstairs like that, okay? And come over here. I love being able to fly. Tell you what. Okay, so we should be able to get an enchant here soon. Yes, okay, so you, you see how that worked? Once enough fluid essence built up in here, we got an enchantment on the boots, which is pretty cool. And then you come throw these in here, put the books in, and then throw what you want to grab the enchant off of. And there you go. So uh, we've got bronze boots uh, perfectly unenchanted now. And so we can go through that process and get particular enchants that we care about. But those we don't care so much about so anyway that's kind of how how that worked i didn't want to go through i mean that's a great concept but it'd be nice if there was some way of getting higher level enchants at some higher cost maybe an exponentially increasing cost or logarithmic scale who knows but something rather than having to get holding one each time and yeah i don't because then you still have to go back to the the anvil and and 
combine them. So I still have to go with vanilla mechanics. So what, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll grow to love it. Maybe you guys have a better understanding of how that thing works. And if you can get higher level enchants out of it, let me know. I'd love to hear it. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to stick with the enchantment factory from industrial for going, but that is going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you are up to date with everything going on in the channel. And uh, Hey, if you want to continue the conversation, hit me up on Discord. There is a link to my public Discord down in the description box below. Let's continue the conversation. We can interact in real time and you can kind of get a feel for what's coming down the pike as far as the videos are concerned. But anyway, we're back hopefully on schedule. We'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.